Hi everyone, it's Kerry back with you today. I have an upcycle or recycle project to share with you today. I've been creating these clear pockets out of recycled cellophane bags and book page, scraps and a few embellishments from my stash. So this one I have just put in a couple of the Tim Holtz dolls and you can see it's completely clear and I've actually made this one double sided. So you can make these as a decorative item like this one here where I've just popped in some chipboard flowers and I could hinge this one into my journal and just have it as a decorative piece or you could make them practical like this one here which I've just filled with a few vintage stamps pop the word stamps on there and that's ready to go out in some happy mail. They're really quick and easy to make. If you've seen my making pockets from note cards video the method isn't too different from that. So I've got my cellophane bag here. I've also got just a piece of book page and some tea dyed scraps that I have. To begin I'm going to take my cellophane bag and I've got a sticky edge on here so I'm just going to roughly cut that off. It doesn't need to be straight or anything at this point but I just don't want it to stick to everything. So I'm going to take a piece of book page now and I'm just going to tear this one in half and I'm going to fold it in half but I'm, I'm going to ignore this um, where there's no text on here so I'm folding this, the text part in half. And then I'm going to tear, I'll just tear that top part off because that hasn't really got much writing on. I'm going to tear so that I'm about half an inch or a centimetre, this is the folded crease. And by tearing it um, whilst it's folded, the back and the front are roughly going to be the same shape. It doesn't really matter, uh, I just prefer it that way. So. I've got my torn edge here. When I open it up, I've got this shape, and I've got a crease in the ed in the in the middle here, which will become the edge of my plastic bag. So I'm just going to take some art glitter glue and making sure that I have my fold the right way, popping a little bit of glue on both halves of my folded paper. Now I don't want to have too much glue too close to the edge because if it oozes out onto the cellophane bag you will be able to see it. I take my cellophane bag and I'm going to push the edge of the cellophane bag here into the crease of my plastic bag. Now depending on how rigid your cellophane bag is that that might be a bit tricky. If your cellophane bag is too floppy and you're finding it hard to push it into the edge, just take a piece of card and insert it into your cellophane bag so that it's pushed hard up against the side that you want to glue. So this one's already done now, so we'll do this one now. And again, I'm going to fold this. and tear it down so that both of my sides will be even. Open it up and popping glue on both halves but not getting too close to my torn edge so it oozes out or so it doesn't ooze out. So now I've got my, um, this is the edge that I want to glue and I'm pushing this cardboard insert flush up against that edge just to give give it a bit more rigidity. So that way when I pop my glue down I could sort of push quite firmly up against that that cardboard and it gives me a nice firm base to press that crease into. So then I need to do the same for down the bottom. Now if I was going to use text I would like to try to make sure that I have it up the right way uh, for the front. I don't mind so much for the back, um, but you can always use other items to cover it up if you put it on upside down or it, it's got too much of a blank space or something. So just for a bit more variation, I'm going to use a scrap of tea dyed paper and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to fold it in half and if I pop it on like that, 
I'm going to have this very harsh straight line which I don't want so I'm going to tear just the tiniest edge off because this is already quite thin and then opening it up the same as we did before popping some glue on not going too close to my torn edge and then putting the edge of the cellophane bag into the crease and pressing down so you can see here that I haven't quite filled up the space between the two different pieces of paper so to fix that I'm just going to trim that off flush with the edge of the page on both sides and I'm just going to take another little piece of scrap tearing off my straight edge applying the glue and then just popping that over there like a little bit of a band-aid so now I've filled in that little blank edge and then to break up the text a little bit I'm just going to pick a couple of other bits of um, scrap paper and just glue them over the top just for a bit of variation using the same method as before making sure I don't have straight edges Just pop that one there that one down there now if you do get glue on your cellophane bag you can just carefully wipe it off with a baby wipe or something like that and then it's just a matter of decorating the bag how you would like it so uh, I might want to pop in on a Tracy label so I could put that down there and then maybe I'll take a little butterfly bring it down a bit because I need to trim off the top of my bag I'll pop that one there now if I turn that over you'll see that I have this plain white area here and you can also see the back of my butterfly so this isn't really double-sided now if I wanted to make it double sided I could take another butterfly that's the same size and I can glue that one straight over the top so now I have that on both sides and with this little section down the bottom here where I've got this straight sort of very bright white piece I could take another piece of tea dyed paper and I'll just tear that and I can use it to cover it up like that now if you wanted to you could ink around the edges just pop that over there and then from the front it's not going to matter if you can see the tea dyed paper because it still blends into everything else and on the back here I've sort of got this big um, blank space so at that point I could choose to do some stamping um, so I could Just add a stamp for example 
or I could go ahead and take another label and as long as it's not um, too big so like this one for example I could have stuck that down he here and just making sure I'm not protruding around the piece of tea dyed paper that I've put on otherwise you'd have the same problem on the other side where you're exposing the white label again right so now I've got my labels and just a little butterfly in there I'm going to trim this down to size So now I have my pocket like this. Now I want to add a little bit more embellishing on here. If you stamp with an archival uh, permanent ink, you can actually stamp straight onto the cellophane bag. So, but I suggest if you're going to stamp onto your cellophane that you make it the last thing you do because you will need to let it sit and dry and then maybe I'll put this number up here so once my stamping is dry you can go and ink around the edges if you like and then your pockets ready to fill up however you choose so there are a couple of other things you might like to try with your cellophane bags if you'd like to make them look a bit different. This one here, you can see that it's got this sort of mottled green colour on the inside. So all I did with that one is I took the cellophane bag and I opened it up and then I've applied some alcohol ink on the inside of the bag using the alcohol ink applicator. Now I made this one a little bit darker because it's a bit hard to see sometimes on um, the video. Once it was dry, and you've got to make sure it is completely dry, then I've just gone ahead and done the same um, technique by putting the book page around the edges and that's given me this sort of mottled look on the inside of the bag. So something else that you might like to try to vary the cellophane pockets up a little bit is I've created a semi-opaque divider in this pocket. So that means I can have one design on one side and I can have something different on the other side and both sides aren't really being affected too much by what's on the other side. To do that, I've taken another cellophane bag or piece of cellophane from a, from a bag and I just brayed a little bit of gesso lightly onto this piece of cellophane and then I've stamped on here with some archival ink let that dry then I've inserted the divider into my bag popped one lot of embellishments on one side and then the stickers on the other side and that just gives me a different look I did actually try to do that on the outside of the bag um, and even though gesso will stick to the plastic bag, it's not 100% um, permanent. So if I scratch on there, you can see I've scratched that off just with my fingernail. So to have it on the outside of the bag in a journal, over time it would scratch off and wear away quite easily. So there we go, a little fun and easy upcycling and recycling project. I always like projects where we can use up things that we already have. So I hope you give this one a go. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.